Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to show you how to import a CSV or Excel file of contacts and companies into HubSpot. Um, it's pretty simple. So first we're going to go hover over to the contacts page, and then we're just going to click on import. We're then going to click on start an import. Now, from here we have a few options. We can either import a file from our computer, we can import a opt-out list, so this is a list of people who we shouldn't be contacting. And we can also try and repeat a past import that didn't work. But let's go for import a file from our computer. Now we have two options. If we have multiple files, so let's say we have, you know, uh, a list of contacts and a list of companies in two separate CSVs, then we can go ahead and choose that. But for this example, we're only going to import one file. Now, now with the list that we're importing, is going to be both contacts and companies. So we're going to choose multiple objects. Once again, objects are things like deals, companies, activities. These are all objects, as you can see here. We're then going to choose what type of objects you want to import into HubSpot. So for this example, once again, we're just going to choose companies and contacts, but you'll know, um, or you'll notice, sorry, that activities is actually one of the new options that you can import. So, uh, that was long awaited and now it's finally here we're then just going to click next and we're going to choose our file okay so choose how to import contacts create and update companies create and update companies we can also say create new companies only right so sometimes if we want to update uh, current information that we have with a new csv uh, we can go create and update companies and the same thing for contacts so whether or not we want to overwrite the data that we currently have in the CRM, this is our option over here. We're then going to click Next. So now it's checking for errors. And as we can see, this is, uh, this is the company, these are the company IDs that's mapping. And this is my CSV file. So I have my first name, last name, email address, name, company domain, uh, phone number, and I have this something called favorite food in here. So, okay, so. Uh, first name, it's a contact import as a contact property. That's correct. First name, last name, that's correct. We're just going to go through one by one and double check everything's okay. Company domain name, as you can see here, we can choose it's a company property. So we're going to want to click company property. HubSpot automatically does this for us, but you're going to want to go through them because every now and again, it doesn't always recognize what exactly is in your CSV file. Worst case scenario, if you, um, if you do make a mistake, you can go ahead and re-import it or delete and redo it. But ideally, you just want to give this a quick check. So company name, that's fine. Great. And the company domain name, this is very important as well. Cool. Uh, awesome. Now we have a new, we have something called favorite food. I don't know if we actually have a favorite food. So we know it's a, let's say, we know it's a contact property favorite food. And now what we can do is we can actually over here already create a new property and it shows us already favorite food. And then I just click next. I'm going to say it's a single line text and just go ahead and click create. And then I just click next. I'm agreeing that I, uh, that this import is not, um, is not going against any third party rules, so on and so forth. It's not a risk. Just make sure you read that. And then I just get to name my import file. Let's just call it test file. One. And then my import will now hopefully import is in progress, but it should hopefully be quite quick. There we go. So now I've imported three new rows, six records, and made three new associations. And most likely I've updated zero records. I'm going to click to view. And I can just click on my file and we'll see now once it, once it uploads. Sorry, one sec. Let me just go back into contacts. And I'm going to go back into my import files. They're already showing up there, but just in case, I'm just going to click view, view contacts. And here we have it. These are the new contacts that I just imported. And we can see that the company has also been imported and has in, been imported correctly. So that's how you import um, contacts and companies. It's that simple. Thanks for watching, guys.